Hello everybody, I hope you had a good day yesterday trading FOMC. We're not actually going to review that today, we'll save it for the week and we're going to do a full debrief. But today what we're going to do is we're going to work on a weakness of mine. Now for some reason, and I think it's because I get a bit more comfort from this, I prefer when, you know, to see some structure fail and then the market do the thing I was looking for. But really if you think about it, the market's the strongest when it's so strong it just goes and does that thing. So what we're going to look at today is just two examples of a flag break in the S&P and we're going to just break down what's different between them and I'm hoping that trying to gain more understanding will help me um, execute like this and I'll work on this for the next few weeks and I'll keep reporting back and we'll try to put, make that part of my execution arsenal. So let's have a look at the structure of the market. Okay so here's the S&P one minute and what we're going to look at is just this bit of price action in here. So the market bid on the open, squeezing the overnight, then offered really hard, it then flagged had got offering and I wanted to try and play this flag break but that failed and it flagged again and then it actually made the break. Now I got on it here and obviously it didn't work out. I didn't try here um, but I should have. So what we're going to do there is just look at that and try and find some things that could give me confidence. Okay so the spoon ladder is second from the left so I'm just going to call out all of the big clips. So the market's just about to start offering here and we've got 143 lots. I think there was another 100 lot in there. Market's coming down a bit. You go through a few prices, there was I think a 200 lot there, another 100 lot. Right now we're getting sort of smaller sizes up to sort of 50s. Right there we go, there's 150 lot there, 200 lot, 70 sort of, there you go, a couple of 100 lots absorbed at the lows, around sort of 80 and a quarter. Market's pulling back, we saw like an 87 in there, 100 lot there, 200 lots at nine and a half. And so you can see the market's now underneath the flag. And now, okay, so interesting here. Um, we ha now haven't seen any real size. There's a 73 there for a little while. And the transaction pace is maybe slowed a little bit. It's coming back down towards the lows, like 1940, there's an 88. Like it's trading in the right place for this flag break. But maybe we're not quite getting the intensity. And all right, we need to probably compare this against something. So you can say I got into this trade, um, but then there was no size and no drive. So I got out. Okay, now let's go and watch the next flag break so the market just pulled back kind of continued the flag and then had another go at it very shortly after let's look at the difference there was kind of like a 300 lot there the market's up a lot there was an 80 90 425 there um a bit smaller there 121 99 80 177 so now it's doing the same thing 131 like it's in the same like trading the same ranges but there's a lot more size there was sort of two about 100 there 137 111 94, 86, 100, 87. So the market's now pullback, and I suppose the sellers have got to hold here around 11s. And so one thing here that we're not seeing size go through, but it's really a reflection on the buyer. No one's really buying size, right? Got ourselves one point nine BCDs of seven year bond today. And so now we need to see the market start to drive down, and when it drives down, we want to see size come with it. So um, there was 90, 123 absorbed. Then you got 125 sold. 116, 119, 111, and so now the market's starting to come off, 168, 150, so you can see this time when it does offer lots coming with size, there's another couple of 150-ish ones in there, so you can see there really is a different between, difference between these two. So what we did there was find an aggressive seller, now I'm going to keep working on this kind of trade and see if I can make it part of my execution arsenal over the next few weeks, so I'll report back.